James Haywood and welcome to TurksLearnEnglish.com. Today I'm reading an article of interest, uh, especially to Turks at the moment. It's about the Ergenekon case in which verdicts have been delivered. There's quite a lot of vocabulary here, especially verbs involving politics and the justice system. I recommend it for IELTS students and if you are an upper intermediate to advanced learner of English, there should be plenty here to keep you busy. As always, I'll read through the article slowly and then I recommend and suggest that you take the time to listen to the article a couple of times until you feel comfortable with the new vocabulary. Okay, off we go. So the article is called Turkey Egenekon Case. Ex-Army Chief Bashbur Gets Life. Turkey's former armed forces chief has been jailed for life for plotting to overthrow the government after five years of trials involving officers, lawyers, writers and journalists. General Ilker Bashbur was among dozens of people convicted of involvement in the so-called Ergenekon plot. Critics of Prime Minister Tayyip, sorry, Recep Tayyip Erdogan have accused him of staging show trials to eliminate his enemies. His supporters say the trials have pushed the military out of politics. General Bashbur, who led the military between 2008 and 2010, was among at least five generals to be jailed for life on Monday at a specially constructed courtroom west of Istanbul. After the verdict, he wrote on his Twitter page, those on the side of truth and righteous, that is, on the side of justice, have a clear conscience. That is how I am. At least 21 people were acquitted, but dozens of others received lengthy sentences. The plot allegedly aimed to topple the government led by Mr. Erdogan's Justice and Development Party, the AKP. The defendants face charges ranging from membership of Ergenekon, an alleged underground terrorist network, to illegally possessing weapons and instigating an armed uprising against the AKP. Prosecutors had demanded life imprisonment for General Bashbur and 63 others, including nine other generals. The court is sitting at the high security civil Silivri prison complex west of Istanbul, where the general is being held. Hundreds of riot police fired tear gas to disperse some 1,000 protesters who were marching outside the court. Akif Hamzajibi, an MP with the Republican People's Party, said the nation would not accept General Bashbur's conviction. If you were trying someone who has been the commander of the Turkish Armed Forces for being a member of a terrorist organization, that means you are targeting and trying the army of the Republic of Turkey, he said. The case is being seen as a key test in Mr. Erdogan's showdown with secularist and military opponents. Since he came to power in 2002, hundreds of military officers, serving or retired, have been arrested. Critics say there is little evidence for the charges and accuse the government of trying to silence its secularist opponents. Mr. Erdogan has denied any political interference in the case. Monday's sentencing hearing is the culmination of a number of trials that began in 2008. As the investigation widened, dozens more suspects were held and their cases were eventually folded into the main trial. Some of the suspects have been in custody awaiting verdicts for five years. Rights groups have raised concerns over the conduct of the trials. Turkey's military has long seen itself 
as the guarantor of the secular constitution. It staged three coups between 1960 and 1980 and has a history of tension with the AKP. The AKP is considered a successor to the Welfare Party, an Islamist party that led a government forced to resign by an army-led campaign in 1997. So an article with a lot of vocabulary, plenty of verbs, as I said, about the justice system and politics, and especially of interest to Turks at the moment. I recommend, as I said, that you listen to the article a few times to make sure you understand the vocabulary in context, and you're welcome to follow us on our Facebook page at Turks Learn English. We also have Twitter, so you can join us here. And if you want to try a free lesson for conversation, come over to TurksLearnEnglish.com where you can sign up for a free lesson. Lastly, there's our YouTube channel where you have access to free online listening and reading exercises for all levels of English language learners. Thanks for just joining us today.